Today we're going to look at using an active load on a source coupled pair, namely a current mirror load. And this is in the same vein as when we started using transistors as active loads for our single ended amplifiers. So with this differential pair, we have perfect symmetry down the middle, uh, and hence we're saying that M1 is equal to M2 and M3 is equal to M4. And we're going to find the voltage gain, uh, the differential mode voltage gain, uh, and we know that that has a general form of big GM times the total resistance at the output node. Now here we're taking our output node between transistors M2 and M4, and this is a high impedance node, uh, unlike the diode connected node between M1 and M3. So first we'll begin by finding big GM. Now we know that big GM1 is equal to big GM2, and so really all we have to do is find one of the GMs, and so we're going to look at uh, GM1. Now looking, we know that uh, this is equal to GM1 divided by 1 plus GM1 times any resistance connected to the source of the transistor. So to figure out what's connected to the source, we're going to look from the source of M1 towards M2, and we'll see that RS is equal to 1 over GM2. So we can make a simple substitution, and we find that GM1, big GM1 and big GM2 are simply equal to GM1 over 2, little GM1 over 2. Now, when we want to find the total resistance, we're going to place a test voltage source at the output node and figure out how much current flows into that node. So if we do this, we're essentially finding what R up and R down is in this circuit. We have to be careful. So let's just go ahead and do KCL at the output node. So KCL is equal to VX, sorry, IX is equal to VX over R down plus VX over R up. And we have to be a bit careful here because what happens is the current that flows down this way doesn't want to go into the current source, so it continues around and goes into this current mirror and gets mirrored over that way. So we get a second term Vx over R down due to that current mirror that I just drew. Now we can find that R down is the resistance looking into the source of M2, the drain of M2. And this is RO2 times 1 plus GM2 times 1 over GM1, or it's equal to 2 times RO2, assuming that the GMs are equal to one another. R up is equal to RO4. Okay, if we substitute these into the expression that we uh, derive for KCL at the output node, then we find ultimately that Ix is equal to Vx over RO2 plus Vx over RO4. Or we simply find that Vx over Ix, which is equal to RT, is equal to RO2 in parallel with RO4. So our total expression for voltage gain then becomes AV or ADM differential mode voltage gain is equal to GM over 2 times RO2 in parallel with RO4 plus GM2 over 2 times RO2 in parallel with RO4. And since these are equal, we can just say that it's equal to GM12 times RO2 in parallel with RO4. Okay, we'll find the common mode gain for this circuit in the next set of slides.